I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what update many operation in MongoDB database. So, and here I am going to use the, the collection at here DPD. So, DPD comes under Sony database and this is the contents record inside or DPD collection. Now, here after let's write to update operation query. So, at here or DB here after if you press dot here this is the DPD is the collection name. Now, here after so if you press U, so here you can find update, update many and update one. So one by one going to discuss. So first is update. Now here after inside the bracket, let's write curly process. And here I'm going to uh, do the update. So whenever that font DPT number 100, so going to update with 10. So add here, let's write DPT number. And here column. So when that font 100, okay. So going to do the update with 10. So dpt num colon 100. Now here after curly branches and here at this point going to use dollar set. Dollar set and here colon and here curly branches and at this point to writing or dpt number and here colon 10 so when that font at here 100 so this will do update with 10 so uh, see at here uh, matched one and modified one now execute this query so see at here 100 modified with 10 now here uh, you can find uh, at this point 40 40 so it's uh, a multiple so at here let's give at this point 40 okay so when that font at here 40, I am going to update with 400 or you can try to just try, okay, let's give 14. So if I execute this query, so see at here 1 modified, now execute this query. So see uh, at this point that was font 40, so it update at here 14 and here there is also 40. So uh, it's not updated. So when that font first 40 uh, by using update operation, so it update only first 40. Okay. So uh, to make uh, all 40 uh, update or all values, so let's copy that one. And here you have, you can uh, include at this point. So just include at this point. Let's give curly braces and here write multi and here colon and here true so multi colon true so add here this find uh, okay let's check the record so add here 20 at this point and here 20 this point also so going to update 20 so when that font 20 now here going to make that 200 okay now if you execute to this query so check the difference or uh, at this point to modified now here after I execute this query so see at here first 200 and here this also update with 200 so 200 twice time in the collection so at here 20 there is no any other 20 inside there so or you can if that font at here 200 so it's twice time so I'm going to make with 20 so Add here whenever that font 200, so it will update with 20. So you must use add here multi option true. Now if you check, so see add here 20 and in last 20. So if you use add here multi true, then whenever that font true, then that will update. Now here after in the in the place of this, so you can use add here update one. So add here there is so two hand. Add here 20 is 2 times. Okay, inside there 20 is 2 times. So I'm going to make add here 200. So add here update 1. So add here 20 at this point. And here uh, there is also. Now if you execute to this query. So see add here I'm getting only matched 1, modified count 1, acknowledgement true. Now if you execute to this. Uh, so see add here. Uh, for uh, at this point 
uh, that match 20 so update with 200 but at here also 20 so it not update so here update one so it update only one value so no matter what is true or not so at here that so when that font first so first value that update so this is the use of update one now here after let's use at here update many so at this point going to use or dot and here write update so if you take the cursor at this point update many update multiple documents within the collection based on the filters okay and here after or oh, this is uh, update a single document within the collection and here update update uh, a group uh, here not this one update modify an existing document on the collection so this is the use now here after going to use update many so update many at here going to use so at here i'm going to do the when that font at here so this is the filter condition when that font 20 here that update fit be between number 200 so when that font at here or uh, there is so uh, i think uh, in this uh at here let's uh, make okay it is twice times whenever that font 80 so it will update with 800 okay 800 and uh, i'm going to update the co location also so for this let's write the query so at your curly process that require so at your uh, filter condition is dept number so when that font at your 80 so when that font 80 here after let's give comma and here after uh, this will do the state so at here let's uh, write at this point or uh, dollar dollar and here going to use state so state at here and here comma and here curly braces and here this will say it or uh, dpt number so dpt number and your column with 1800 okay 1800 going to give and here uh, 1800 and location uh, i'm going to change with uh, denver okay so let's give at here l o c and your column and here in double quote going to write denver so at here when that font so filter condition is at here 80 so 80 is there 80 is there so when that font at here 80 so first that uh, make 1800 after that location change with denver so this is the query here let's execute that so i'm getting some error masters Okay, what more curly brushes that require? Now execute once again. So see at here three update that font. Or oh, let's check that. So see at here eighteen hundred one, and here there is also eighteen hundred, and here. So see at your city also that change with Denver here. So 1800, okay, see. So 1800, 1803. So there was three place, 80 was there. So it update at your debit number 80 and here. So 18 with 1800, here 1800, 1800. And this place, the seat location also changed. So at your Denver, Denver, Denver. So this is the way we can do multi update here. So uh, we need to use at this point, at this point, at here, update many. So when that font, so this is a filter condition, this will do the state. So if that font match with 80, so there our DP number going to change with 18, and here it was changed with Denver. Now here after, there is one more thing. So if you write at here, BB, and here, dot, so DP number, and here you can find delete. So at here delete many delete one. So delete one 
it only read one a uh, document so single document from the collection and it will uh, delete all so add here let's give curly branches now if you execute this query so see at here deleted count 17 so all the document deleted from the collection so see at here there is nothing inside so this is the use of update many and delete many so when you when you are using delete many so first uh, add here or uh, make a uh, uh, recovery of the data okay recovery of the collection after that uh, you should use delete many operation so this is the way we can update or delete records or documents inside mongodb in so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you